Good morning YouTube. Remember last video, or one of the other videos, I fitted this, light, this new light switch and socket to the wall. Well now it's time to improve it because I've got one of these, that's the wrong way around, one of these, a Sonoff smart switch. So I can fit this into there and we should be able to get a Internet of Things light. So this is the switch itself that goes into a, well this is really meant to go into the actual um, light fixture itself because you have power up there because the switch only has the two lives coming down which has been switched so really you need to put this actually in the fixture so you have the mains coming in and then a switch input which goes to your switch so what you have here you've got two neutrals a live in live out that goes to your light and then a switched input so this goes to the switch and you can turn it on off manually like a normal switch light switch but also it's internet enabled and you can internet things which is nice so the first thing we've got to do is obviously turn off the power and fortunately being the off-grid shed and everything's off-grid all the power comes through here so off that is now a safe so we can take the front of this off and we can see our beautiful wiring right and the first issue is it doesn't actually fit so we put that in there there isn't enough clearance for me to put the cover on you see this gap gap there because it's hitting the back of the switch is hitting on this. It's a bit stupid, isn't it? So, I wonder if there's enough room in one of these boxes and I just have to feed the wires through. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to have it dangling out the side in a very unsafe way or something stupid. Oh, why? Why are things so difficult? So, basically, no. That is also too thick to sit in there because if I take this off, it bangs on the back of these switches. So, you can't fit these in a socket or a light switch, which is stupid. So um, I'm just going to have to yeah, get another box and put it here. I'll just do it at some point later. But I want to fit this for now because I want to do something else with it. Or I just put it in here without this on and get a blank plate and don't have a switch. Don't know what I'll do yet. I might just uh, put it. I'll have a play. I'll put it in there, I think, and then... Maybe get another box on the side later on, but for now I can just leave it in there. What a pain. This has got nice little closing door terminals on it, so as you just got a little blade at the bottom, rises up and locks the wire in, so they're quite nice. But apparently this thing's rated for 10 amps. Would you trust 10 amps on that? Hmm, seems a bit ambitious. Wired in temporarily, and something wrong with these terminals already is the you need to cut the wire shorter as you get dangerous shorts because it does poke out quite a long way so i'll come i'll redo that i'll, I'll trim them off and do it properly in a second so uh now i've got to log in apparently when you boot it up it goes into pairing mode we'll see about that so i'm in the ewe link app and it's the ewe link app for sonoff and it is trying to connect let's see what happens shall we it appears to have found it so shed light i've got and if i click the button you can hear the relay ticking inside. And look up here. This bulb. Hey, it works. There we go. So I just got to tidy the wires up and fit a cover and all that jazz and what have you. But it works. And it's done. Just ignore the uh, ventilation gap around this switch where the cover won't go on properly. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a flat cover for that, so it will be sealed eventually. But for now, that'll be good enough until I get one of them. Um, I can pick one up in a day or two. And then uh, this switch obviously isn't connected to anything. So we'll just leave it for now, but at least no one can deliberately put their fingers in there. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's a solid switch. They're a bit of a pain in the bum because they're a bit too big to fit actually in a switch or in a light fitting. But ignoring that, they do work quite well. All right, for now, see you later. Bye for now.